Hello everybody, I am Balji Dhaka and today we are doing SSC CGL Tire 2 test series which is going on and this is part 2 of the Mathematics 702 paper code, paper code is 702, this is paper code. You know the Mathematics series is from 701 to 740 and English series is from 601 to 640, there are 80 tests and every test will have full length full video presentation of each and every question of uh, you can say the paper analysis explanation with tricks and guidance you will get through this video explanation now this paper this uh, part number uh, paper number 702 which uh, which is reasonably you can say the moderate easy to moderate paper and you have to score you have to score in this paper uh, 180 plus if you score 180 plus it means this is very good score and there are very high chances that you will be through for a higher uh, rank post in SSC CGL and if you are scoring this is for general category we will say and if you are scoring 160 plus it means you have to score a uh, very good score in other paper that is English paper so so that 320 plus um, the score should be there otherwise it will be very very difficult uh, to get any job this is all about the general category and for OBC you can uh, reduce uh, 5 number in this paper 5 to 10 number and for SC category you can reduce 20 number but today is uh, into <coughs> uh, the level of competition is very high so you have to prepare it very high level you can say question number 26 25 questions we have done in part 1 and in this part we will do another 25 questions there are 100 questions in full length test and every question will have two marks a wire bent in the form of a square enclosures an area of 484 square if the same wire is bent so as to form a circle then area of the circle will be how much now the trick important trick here you must learn area of circle is always equal to area of circle is always equal to 4 pi 4 into area of area of square divided by pi or you can say this is the important trick or you can say area of area of a square and area of a circle the ratio is 11 to 14 11 14 it means if this is 11 then it will be 14 if this is 484 then it will be 484 into 14 by 11 you can say six one six should be the answer six one should be the answer so in this way you can also calculate otherwise you can 4 into area of square 484 this same thing this is same thing this is same thing you will get 616 because the ratio is this important observation or important trick you must learn it will be quite helpful to solve such kind of question question number 27 if the ratio of radii of cylinder is 2 is to 3 and ratio of height their height is 5 is to 4 find the ratio of their volume 2 cylinder 2 cylinder and volume volume is pi r square h and pi r square h pi to pi cancel r square that is 2 into 2 2 into 2 and height is 5 into 5 and then 3 radius is 3 3 into 3 and height is in this case 4 so you can say 20 36 5 is to 9 ratio is 5 is to 9 answer in this case D question number 28 average age of committee of 7 trustee is the same as it was 5 years ago a younger man having been substituted for one of them how much younger was he than the trustee who placed his uh, took now very simple observation 7 trustee and into 5 5 years ago means 5 5 into 37 35 years 
it means the newer person is younger will be younger by 35 years answer is b next question question number 29 if the length breadth and height of a room are 5 meter 4 meter and 4 meter respectively this is length this is breadth and this is height if all the four walls of the room are to be covered with 50 centimeter wide wallpaper you can say only walls only four walls you have to cover not roof or floor find the length of the paper required you have to tell the you can say the surface area surface area of the room is parameter into height and parameter is parameter is parameter into height parameter is 5 plus 4 and into 2 and height is height is 4 in this case Eighteen into four, seventy-two. Seventy-two is the surface area. Seventy-two is the surface area meter square, and we have to find the length of you can say length of uh, uh, the, this wallpaper height. Uh, uh, width is 0 0.50. If you divide it by 0 0.50, it means you will get one forty-four centimeter. One forty-four into point five zero will be equal to seventy-two. Answer is one forty-four. Now the next question is a reduction of 20 percent in the price of sugar enables a purchaser to obtain 3 kg more for 120 rupees. Now 120 into 20 percent that is 24 rupees divided by 3, 8 rupees per kg is the new price. If 80 is the new price then original price is 100 because 20 percent reduction. If 8 is the new price then old price will be 10, 10 rupees kg is the answer. The next question is question number 31. A wooden box without lid, lid means the covering, has external length, breadth and height, length, breadth and height. Respectively, if the wood is 5 meter mm thick, find the volume of the wood used in making this box. Now, LBH, this is the volume, 11 into 9 into 7, this is the volume is the external volume you can say 11 into 9 into 7 and if you reduce or you can say uh, subtract from this the volume of volume of inside and inside volume is 11 is the length it means from uh, 5 and 5 mm that is 10 mm which is equal to 1 centimeter it means it means 10 centimeter length into breadth 9 minus 1 8 centimeter and into height height we have to take 6.5 that is 13 by 2 why we, have, we are taking 6.5 because because in this case there is no lid so it will be only the floor that the wood is composed of that the floor is composed of by wood now 520 we have to reduce from 77 into 9 679 uh, 93 minus 520 that is you can say you can say 173 a should be the answer average of marks obtained by 75 candidate in a certain examination is 31 average marks by 75 candidate if the average marks of past candidate is 35 and that of the failed candidate is 25 what is the number of candidate who passed the what is the number of candidate who passed the examination such kind of question you can solve through uh, through uh, allegation technique that is 30 31 and 25 one side other side 35 the difference here is difference here is 6 here the difference is 4 3 is to 2 is the ratio now third if 3 is passed then then fail is 2 here is given average of the total um, marks obtained by 75 total students are 75 and we have tell the pass candidate number of candidate who passed it means out of 5 candidate 3 pass 
आउट ऑफ फाइव कैंडेट थ्री पास थ्री बाय फाइव इन टू सेवेंटी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव स्टूडेंट आर पास क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री ए वेल टू मीटर इन रेडियस हैज बीन डेग फाइव मीटर डीप इट मीन्स इट हैज बिकम सरेंडर एंड द अर्थ टेकन आउट वॉज स्प्रेड टू मेक द इम्बार्कमेंट वन मीटर वाइड राउंड द वेल वट इज द हाइट ऑफ द इम्बार्कमेंट वी हैव टू टेल यू कैन से दिस इज द यू कैन से रिंग रिंग हैविंग हाइट रिंग हैविंग हाइट तो यू कैन से दैट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस सिलेंडर एंड वट इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंडर ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन इन टू दैट इज दिस इज द रेडियस रेडियस टू सेंटीमीटर आर स्क्वेयर एंड एच दिस वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू दिस वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन आर स्क्वेयर आर स्क्वेयर नाउ इट विल बिकम थ्री मीटर वाई थ्री मीटर सपोज दिस इज द सिलेंडर एंड नाउ दिस इज वन मीटर एंड दिस इज टू टू प्लस वन थ्री थ्री इज फ्रॉम आउटर साइड एंड इनर साइड टू सो थ्री इंटू थ्री पाई आर स्क्वेयर एच एच वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एच वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एंड माइनस ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन यू कैन से इंटू टू इंटू टू एंड इंटू एच सो हेयर यू कैन टेक कॉमन ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन एंड अगेन यू कैन से ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू नाइन एच माइनस फोर एच दैट इज फाइव एच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एच इज इक्वल टू फोर एच इज इक्वल टू फोर इट मीन्स बी शुड बी द आंसर देर वर फोर्टी स्टूडेंट इन ए हॉस्टल इफ द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट इंक्रीज बाई एट द एक्सपेंसिस ऑफ द मेस इंक्रीज बाई फोर्टी एट पर डे वाइल द एवरेज एक्सपेंडिचर पर हेड डिमिनिश बाई रुपीज टू फाइंड द ऑरिजिनल एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ द मेस यू हेव टू फाइंड द ऑरिजिनल एक्सपेंडिचर मीन्स आंसर शुड बी शुड नॉट बी इन फ्रैक्शन नाउ वाई इट शुड नॉट बी फ्रैक्शन बिकॉज हेयर नथिंग इज गिवन इन द फ्रैक्शन इट मीन्स डिवाइड दैट नंबर फ्रॉम द ऑप्शन टेक दैट नंबर फ्रॉम द ऑप्शन विच विल बी डिवाइड बाई फोर्टी Now, sixty-two by forty. It is not divided by forty. This is divided by forty. It means this can be the answer. This is not divided by this. Not this is not divided. Only B option B is divided. So, so earlier diet was you can say eighteen rupees. Now eight uh, more student came. That is forty-eight has become now, and the diet become seven twenty plus forty-eight. Because forty-eight rupees increased, you can seven sixty-eight divided by forty-eight, and seven twenty divided by forty. Now it difference is two. Difference is two because here it is become eighteen and here it is become sixteen. So answer is also verified. So immediately you can solve this question in one or two second. If you find such kind of variety, thirty-five question number. A shopkeeper purchases forty per dozen of apples. Forty per dozen mean, uh, means forty dozens. Here it is forty dozen of apple at the rate of forty per dozen. Forty into forty that is sixteen hundred rupees. Purchase is sixteen hundred plus four hundred on the transportation. Four hundred on the transportation that is total cost is two thousand. While Forty apples were spoiled. In order to earn ten percent profit, at what price per dozen should he sell the remaining apples? Now, ten percent profit means he want to sell. Ten percent means two hundred rupees. He want to sell in two hundred, two thousand two hundred, twenty two hundred rupees. He want to sell. Now, and he has, he has forty apple less. Forty apple less. We have to tell the. Price. Now earlier forty there were forty dozen, forty into twelve, that is six four eighty. Forty if reduced we will get four forty. 
फोर फोर्टी यू डिवाइड बाई फोर फोर्टी इट विल बी द प्राइस ऑफ वन एप्पल इफ वी डिवाइड बाई ट्वेल्व ऑल्सो पर डजन प्राइस विल कम सो यूल गेट सॉरी इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेल्व यू विल गेट आंसर नाउ इट विल बी सिक्सटी रुपीज ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई फोर फोर्टी अगेन यू कैन टेक दिस कैलकुलेशन लाइक दिस ट्वेंटी टू हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई फोर फोर्टी एंड इट विल बी द प्राइस ऑफ ए वन यू कैन से एप्पल एंड प्राइस ऑफ वन एप्पल इज फाइव रुपीज डजन प्राइस इज सिक्सटी रुपीज दिस इज द सेलिंग प्राइस दैट वी गुड डी शुड बी द आंसर हाउ मेनी सॉलिड स्पेरिकल बोल्स ऑफ रेडियस थ्री सेंटीमीटर ईच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू इमर्स इन सिलेंडर जार सिलेंडरिकल जार ऑफ रेडियस फोर सेंटीमीटर टू रेज द लेवल ऑफ वाटर इन द जार बाय नाइन सेंटीमीटर नाउ इट मीन्स द वॉल्यूम इज वॉल्यूम ऑफ वॉल्यूम ऑफ सिलेंडर इज पाई आर आर इज फोर इंटू फोर स्क्वेयर एच डिवाइड बाय Divided by how many solid spherical means if we divide by the volume of one spherical sphere we will get the number of spheres we will get the number of a sphere so four uh, uh, by three into pi pi into r cube three into three into three so pi to pi cancel and three it will be in this format four to four cancel. Twenty seven to twenty seven question four is the answer. A should be the answer. Question number thirty seven. Here in this question, the population of a district is two ninety six thousand, out of which one sixty six thousand are men. Fifty percent of the total population consists of literate. If the seventy percent of the men are literate. How many women are illiterate? Fifty percent of the total population consists of literate. You can say fifty percent of this and fifty percent of this one forty eight thousand. You divide by it two by two. One forty eight thousand is the population which is which is literate and of which out of which sixty one sixty six are men. It means one sixty six thousand into seventy percent. Why seventy percent? Seventy percent of the men are literate. It means you will get one thousand one one six two zero zero number of men's literate total population literate. You will get the difference as women literate, and the difference is. Thirty-seven. Answer is A. Answer is A. Answer is A. Now the next question is question number thirty-eight. Question number thirty-eight is study the table given below carefully and answer the question that follow. Number of people selecting six different products and percentage of men, women, and children in selecting these products. So. these are the products a b c d e f total number of people these are people number of people percentage men women and children these are percentage you can say percentage everything is in percentage now the first question is what is the and there are five questions what is the respective ratio of the total number of men selecting product b to those selecting product e now you have to find in this case what is the respective ratio of total number of men selecting product b to those selecting product e we have to find the ratio now b selecting b respective ratio of total number of men men and b 39% of 36880 we will get 36800 into Thirty-nine percent. Thirty-nine percent, and that is, you can say, that is
I have multiplied it by 40 because it is easy to cal uh, multiply it by 4 and after that I have reducted I have subtracted 361 because 361 is the 39 time first I have calculated 36 40 times and then deduct uh, subtracted 361 one time uh, we will have 14352 men and those of selecting E E is this is E 21 percent of a uh, you can say 4830 0 21 percent 21 percent so 40 483 20 times would be and 483 if you add you will get 21 times 22 times 20 times plus one time it is easy to calculate like this 10 1 4 3 and we have to find the ratio of these two we have to find the ratio of you can say around 140 or 100 140 140 100 but it will be we have to further refine this we have to further refine this so that because uh, the answer is very very close so it would be You can take this in this format 1 4 3 5 2 divided by 1 0 1 4 3 and after this you cancel this. Now the answer is these answer are very very close. So you have to take call either you skip that question or the you can calculate this or otherwise you take some risky call like it is not in fact risky. Suppose for 52, 52 is last when the last two digits divided by 4. This is it means this is divided by 4 and see which is divided by 4. This is divided by 4. It means this can be the answer. However, this little bit risk but this, this is the in fact answer. Why is this answer? Because this is divided by 4 and only this is divided. This is this can only divide it. Now the next question is question number 39. number of men selecting product C forms what percentage of those selecting product F what percentage of selecting F now the answer is uh, these are close and these are close but not as much close so it means you can find the answer also otherwise if it would have been more close then you could have skipped this question because there is no need to take such risk or waste time it is important in such kind of question because this uh, table, this uh, da data interpretation question, these uh, you can say the table, answer are typically not as uh, close, uh, not uh, very clear and it, you have to call, you have to take call and what type of call, S maybe in 5 questions you, you have to skip 1 or 2 questions. So let us see, let us see, this question is not very close, you can say, you can find the answer and we have to find C number of men selecting C form what percent of, of those selecting product F. So let us C and F C that is let us take this question from here and bring it here so that is more clear. It is most clear now. Now you can find in a better way C. This is C forty five percent of. 56, 3, 4, 0, 45%, 45%, and 240%, 45 by 100. You can say you multiply it by.
25363 and the next is f f 15% of 35580 and 15% 15% you can say or 15 by 100 you can write also write 15 by 100 so it would be five three three seven now twenty five three fifty three and you can take this you can take this 253 divided by 53 and it would be around it would be around you can say less than 5 means around 500 less than 500 this answer should be b how are the close answer this is close to d but you have to take coal you have to other otherwise you calculate perfectly but it is your judgment how will you solve now the question number 40 Total number of women selecting the product E form approximately what percent of the total number of people selecting the product together all together. Total number of, now the answer C first whether close is not 11 percent, 15 percent, 20 percent and 7.5 percent. You can say you can find this answer of this question. Now let us take this question from this place to so that it is easy to calculate now the total number of women selecting selecting product e forms approximately what percentage of what percent of total number of people selecting all the product together now these questions are taking time because we have to find the, we have to add all these and we have to find uh, 44 percent of uh, uh, 48300 so my uh, the suggestion here is that you skip this uh, entire activity entire uh, uh, table and go to the next question or after you if you have time at the end of this uh, question paper then you come back to this question this question otherwise what will happen coming upcoming question which will be easy you will be not be able to solve those question because the lack of time so this is an important observation here is that these questions are taking times however generally data interpretation questions are easier but here question are easier but these are taking times so what should be your, uh, your strategy here your strategy should be that you skip this question you because you cannot waste your time this time is very very precious and you will find uh, upcoming question which may be easy so you you should access all these questions you should access uh, 100 you should attempt all 100 questions you should attempt all 100 questions and on leave those questions which are taking more time or are difficult and in this way you will find 5 to 10 questions and if you have time and you are good in mathematics then you come uh, you will be uh, you will save the time and ultimately you can come back to these questions now now, now say, uh, try to solve this question Total number of women selecting product E forms approximately what percentage of the total number of people selecting the product together? So, 21 percent, uh, 44% of this will be 4, 8, right here, 4, 8, 3, 0, 0, and 44%. 44%. Or otherwise, take approximate. If you want to take risk, take approximate. And instead of 44, you can write here 40 because the answer are little bit different. You can say not very close. So you can take it 40 and then increase little bit. So you will be you will find write it around you can say 21,000 instead of 19,000 because this is 4. Right, 21,000 we have taken approximately why we are, we have taken approximately because these are not very close so we are taking little bit of risk and then add 44 45 37 right here 45 37 take approximately 56 then 62 then take 49 and 35 
36 you can take also now add to add these will be easier now thirty five and then we will have three three plus three six four ten ten plus two this is two this is in fact thirty eight thirty six fifty six twenty seven this is in fact three so you will have 3 plus uh, 10 plus 3 13 18 24 and 28 28 0 0 approximately 3 0 because these are 3 0 285 you can say 21 divided by because these are also 3 0 285 285 and this in terms of calculate uh, percentage you can also calculate so here you will get you will get 21 and seven, around 13 you can say so you will get uh, 100 by 13 that is 7.5 something you will get 7.5 this is the answer answer is d so what we have done in this question we have taken approximately very approximately you can say uh, because the answers are not close in this way you will be able to solve in a fast way comparatively comparatively fast way so the next question is question number 41 what is the total number of children selecting product a number of children and we have to see whether the answer is closed or not in this case first always think that whether answer are how much close so that you will be able to understand how much approximation you can take now 14,000, 5,000, 20,000, 16,000 you can say not very close but no very different uh, distance also so let's take the children total number of children selecting product a let's take thirty six percent thirty six percent forty five thousand into thirty six percent forty five thousand into 36 percent 45,000 approximately and 36 percent you can take 1 by 3 also 36 percent 1 by 3 approximately or you can say 1 in fact it should be 1 by 3 or less than 1 by 3 because this is 30 percent we cannot uh, uh, instead of 30 uh, 1 by 3 you can take little bit less but here the calculation is easy that's why if this, this is less then it will be more than 15,000 more than 15,000 in this is close to 15,000 16,000 16,389 so take it approximately and answer is D so in this way you will be able to solve in a faster way here the idea is idea here is that either you skip this question or you take approximation and li take little bit risk otherwise if you solve complete uh, even uh, everything if you solve then it will take much time and there will be wastage of time there is no need to solve like this that the next question is what is the approximate average number of women selecting all products together average number of women selecting all products together let's see the answer as clo close or not 16707 16000 16000 16, now answer are very very close and it will be very very difficult to reach at the conclusion in lesser time so highly it is highly advisable that you skip this question until and unless you go you solve all these questions you attempt all the question and then come back to this question otherwise be it can waste your lot of time however it may be easier at the end of the day at the uh, end of this um, but the calculation will be very very lengthy this is this is the strategy with these questions now the next question is next question question number four however the answer of this question can be let's uh, solve this question what is the approximate average number of women selecting all products together okay, go back to selecting all women together 44 percent 
first you calculate 40 percent 44 percent of this then 33 percent of this then 30 percent of this then 28 percent of this then 44 percent of this and then 35 percent of this and ultimately then then you add you will get the answer the next question is 43 on an article the manufacturer gains 10 percent the wholesale dealer 15 percent Manufacturer gains 10%, wholesaler uh, dealer get 15%, retailer 25%. If the retail price is 1265, then what is the cost price of production? So, such kind of question you can show like this 100 divided by 110, 115, and 125. You will, you have done the back calculation. So, such kind of question you can down do by this. Now, It is 23, it is uh, 23 and then it will be 800 should be the answer. Answer in this case B. Now the next question is, this question, this kind of question you can show like this. You reverse, do the reverse uh, calculation, you will get the answer. Question is 44, A owes B rupees 1120 payable 2 years hence and B owes rupees 108150 payable 6 months hence. If they decide to settle their account for uh, fourth with by payment of ready money and the rate of interest be 6% per annum the, then who should pay and how much now this kind of question calculate the present worth 1120 payable after 2 years it means the present value at the rate of 6% at the rate of 6% means 6% in 2 years 6% per annum 6% per, per, per annum you can divide it by 1, 1, 2, 100, you can say 1, 1, 2, 0 is the future value, then present value is 100. If it is 1, 1, 2, 0, then it will be 1, 1, 2, 0, then it will be 1000 is the present value. In this case, 1000 is the present value. And in the next case, next case, in the 6 month, you can say in 1, 0, 3, instead of 103 you can do because here the six month the future value is this then present value will be 1081.50 and it would be it should be One zero, this is one zero eight one and five zero. So ultimately, you will get. You can say one zero from if you divide it, divide one zero eight one five by this method, division method, you will get one zero five zero, one zero five zero five into three. That is fifteen. Fifteen is here, so it means it is one zero five zero. Otherwise, you calculate if you if you do not such kind of calculation. 1050 here is the present value and here 1000 rupees it means it means b will pay to a 50 rupees the difference is 50 rupees b will pay rupees 50 it means b is the answer in this case the next question is 45 if x y and z are the three points such that x y x y is equal to 2 y z x y is a 2 y z x and y x take it y and x z x z is 
तो y z इज लेस सो x z x y इज मोर इट मीन z वी कैन टेक हेयर वी कैन टेक हेयर नाउ द x इज x z सॉरी y z इज फॉर एग्जांपल 5 देन x y विल बी मोर बिकॉज हेयर मोर x z इज x z इज Three times of a, you can say y z, y and z. This is y and x z is fifteen. So this is the this is x z is fifteen, y z, y z is five. We have taken uh, this value as, uh, as we have uh, 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 taken as a uh, value so that we can reach to a conclusion. If this is five, then it will be fifteen. If this is one, this will be three. If this is ten, this will be thirty. It means then these points are these are collinear. You can say collinear. Collinear. This will be collinear and collinear and Z lies between X and Y. X and Y. You can say answer is D. While selling a cooler, a shopkeeper gives a discount of ten percent on the market price. If he gives a discount of twenty twelve percent. He earns thirty-five rupees less as a profit. The market price of the cooler is. It means the difference is two. If the two percent difference, then the difference, uh, then ultimately the uh, profit less is thirty-five. If the difference is hundred, then it will be, you can say fifty times. Seventeen fifty should be the answer. D is the answer in this case. Next question. Question number forty-seven. The true discount. Of a bill due nine months hence at six percent per annum is one eighty. Find the amount of bill and its present worth. Uh, worth. Now read this statement carefully. We have to true discount on a bill due nine months hence at six percent per annum is one hundred eighty. What does it mean? This means then rupees six you will earn in twelve month. To be six in twelve month, and you can say nine month, it will be twelve month six nine month. It will be six by twelve into nine. That is, you can say four point five nine by two four point five. You can say will be the discount on rupees hundred. Four point five is the discount on hundred. If the discount is one eighty four point five, then it is hundred. It is hundred four, and if it is one eighty, then One eighty. So we will get here. You will get four thousand rupees. Sum is four thousand rupees. This is the sum, which is four thousand rupees, and and you can say on four thousand one zero four into five hundred, you will get the percent worth. That is, that is you can say four one eight zero. This is the answer. This is the answer. Now the question number forty eight. Train A took thirty five minutes to cover a distance of fifty kilometer. If the speed of train B is twenty five percent faster than train A. it will cover the same distance in obviously in less time it will cover in less time now speed ratio of speed of a and b is b is 25 uh, 25% faster it will, it means it will take 25% less time we will take 25% less time what does it mean if if one is taking 100 minute other is taking 120 uh, taking less time 25 percent 50 into 50 into if this is 100 then it will be another 100 four or five ratio it means if we, it will take time then uh, if it is taking less time then 30 sorry 35 minute into four by five four by five less time four by five 28 minute. Twenty-eight minute is the answer because the ratio of speed is four and five. This is B is twenty-five percent 
more efficient if this is 4 kilometer uh, for taking uh, it is running 4 km then it is running 5 km it means it will take less time and how much less 4 by 5 so answer is 28 minute answer is b Tom, for question number 49 if abc is a triangle in which the side bc is produced to d then which one of the following is correct very uh, confusing kind of questions abc is a triangle you can take this ABC triangle BC is produced to D, BC produced to D, take it D and this is A. Which one of the following is correct? Always correct. ACD is either greater, ACD, this is ACD, either greater than ABC. For example, if it is, let us take 80, then it will be 100 and both of will be, it means 80, 80, both of will be 80. And if ACD is either greater than ABC, ABC or greater than BAC but not both, it is also ABCD can be greater than both. So it means it is not possible. This this is not 100 percent true. ACD always greater than ABC, ABC. If it is 80, this is 40, this is possible and ACD is greater than BAC, BAC. This is also possible this is also possible because this is 50 then this will be 30 so this is true but here in this case let's let's take this is true let acd acd 80 we have taken as assumed value bac bac if it is uh, for example 40 then acd is greater than acb ACB. This is not possible. If it is 80, this cannot be 100 percent too because ACB is greater than ACB. So, this is wrong. ACD, ACB, ACD, ACB. If it is more, we can take more than ACD. Now, the question number 50. In this question, a man sells a typewriter at 5 percent loss. If we sell it for rupees 80 more, he gains 5 percent. It means 5 percent and minus 5 percent profit and loss. The gap is 10 percent. Window is 10 percent. This is window question. 10 percent is representing 80 rupees. 100 percent will represent 800 rupees. Answer is 800. So, in this presentation, we have done 50 questions 26 to 50. This was part 2. In part, part 3, we will do uh, from 51 to 75 and in part 4, we will cover from 76 to 100 questions. In that way, in all 4 parts, we will cover entire 702 style 2 math test each and every question by video presentation. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. All the best.